Come on, everybody. What about having a quick revision on poetry today? First of all, let's ask ourselves, what is poetry? Poetry is a collection of poems. And what is a poem? A poem is a piece of writing arranged in short lines. What about the person who writes the poem? What do we call him or her? If it's a male, we call him poet. And if it's a female, we call her poetess. What about the tools that poets use to beautify their poems or, in other words, to attract the reader's attention? They use some tools, we call them literary tools or literary terms. One of the literary terms that poets used to beautify or to attract the reader's attention is alliteration, which is one of the sound devices. What is alliteration? Alliteration is the repetition of the same first sound in two or more words in the same line. Again, we said it's the repetition of the first not the last sound. This is number one. Number two, it is the repetition of the same sound. So take care. We don't care how the letter is written. We care more about how it is pronounced. Number three, we're talking about consonants, not vowels. No vowels in alliteration. And number four, they should be in the same line. Now, let's read the poem together and try to pick out as much literary terms as we can. Daylight and moonlight. In broad daylight and at night, yesterday I saw the moon. Sailing high but faint and white, as a schoolboy's paper kite, and the night serene and still fell on the village, vale and hill. Then the moon in all her pride, like a spirit glorified, filled and overflowed the night with shades of her light. And the poet's song again passed like music through my brain. Night spoke to me about its grace and mystery. Now, I want each one of you to reread the poem and try to pick out the literary term alliteration. Come on, which line? Yes. In the fifth line, the poet repeats the sound S in serene and still to give internal music and attract the reader's attention, so it is alliteration. Can you give another example? Yes. In the sixth line, the poet repeats the sound V in village and veil to give internal music and attract the reader's attention. There is one more example in the poem. Can you pick it out? Excellent, boys. In the twelfth line, the poet repeats the, the sound M in music and my to give music to the reader's ears and attract their attention. So, it is alliteration.